Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. I'm thinking, Dollar Tree? Okay. I can do Dollar Tree. I do Dollar Tree all the time. I love taking Dollar Tree and making something out of nothing. Dollar Tree sells these. I don't know if you've ever seen these scarves in the accessory department. Okay, so we need this for our project tonight. And I got an artist canvas for our project tonight. You, I wanted to make a bunny with it, okay? And I wanted to cover the bunny. I wanted not to cover the bunny. I want to wanted to make a pattern for the bunny, and I wanted the pattern to be sturdy because I want to keep it. So what I did was I went online, and I found uh, all I did was googled um, I googled um, bunny images. Okay. So I picked one that I loved, and I. I can I can draw. I can look at something and I can draw. So if you cannot, if you cannot draw, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your computer, you're gonna pick one out, you're gonna print it out on an eight and a half by eleven as big as you can, and you're gonna use that for your pattern. And you're gonna put it down on this board and you're gonna trace around it. Me, I looked at it and I went, okay, hey, bunny's got a hump here, it's got a tail here, it's got two feet here, a little space here. And before I knew it, I had it etched out and I was done. Yeah, was I cut, cut through this canvas? Way. Um, what I did was I just went in here and I cut, cut, cut. It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't okay. So I did it and I cut it out. Wanna see him? He's awful cute. <laughs> here he is in all his glory. Okay, this is the pattern I cut out. However, I didn't want the tail because I was gonna do something different for the tail. And I didn't want the ears, because I like a lop-eared bunny. I like the floppy-eared bunny, so that's what I want. So what I did was I did this. I took this cute little bunny. I took this cute little, and I'm gonna need to open this up a little bit, just so you know. Um, so what you do is you just cut off the end of the scarf like this, done, right? Now, I have a seam ripper. And I just went in like this and I opened up the seam with my seam ripper. Okay, if you if you want to use all of the, as much of the fabric as you can, as wide as you can, you use your seam ripper. If you don't need the whole thing, you just go down it with your scissor and cut it open. You wanna cut open to where you can lay it open flat, just like this. I wanted a big bunny, I wanted a big fat bunny. So I wanted this piece of fabric that I was gonna make from this scarf to be open, wide, and fat. So what I did was I took my little bunny like this, and remember I said if you want him big, you know, you gotta open, you gotta open up those seams uh, instead of cutting it the way I did. But what I did was I took it like this, I took a little marker pen, and I traced around them. I didn't want the ears, remember I didn't want the ears? So all I did was I traced around him, around the head, around the body, around the feet, okay? Just like that. Cut him out. I cut him out. Once I had him cut out, I'll show you what I did. Let me open this up a little bit more. And I traced him out and then I cut him out. Okay, so then I had a pattern, all right? So then, so then I took the pattern that I had, okay? And I flipped my fabric on the other end, okay? And I did right side to right side, okay? I took my pattern and I did right side to right side, like this, and I pinned it. I pinned this little bunny just like this, all the way around, just like you see, okay? And I cut them out, just like that. So now I have right side to right side, and I have it pinned together, okay? Done. So then I what I did with the other end was I made an ear, a floppy loppy ear, okay? And I wanted it kind of big-ish, so I did this, okay? So you can kind of see, see I didn't cut the ears out for this bunny, but you can see it's gonna be a little floppy eared. I love floppy eared bunnies. So that's my thing. If you don't like your ears floppy, then you don't straight. You do you boo, I don't care, that's good. 
and different strokes for different folks. <laughs> anyway, thank goodness for the replay, Debbie. Amen, sister. You watch that replay. But anyway, this is a scarf from the Dollar Tree. No big deal. You did not miss a whole lot. But, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another ear because I only did one. So, what you want to do is you want to take your fabric. I'm going to take the big end here because I can because I got it to do. Okay. Fold it over because we need two, right? You need, because I'm going to stuff it. I'm gonna stuff this bad boy. Okay. You need two like this. I'm going to pin it right to this. Now it's quadrupled because <laughs> there's two in this one and there's two in the other. There'll be two in the other one. So that's the way it's going to be. This is going to be my pattern. You know, don't. Okay, just gonna go in here and snip around it. Ears, you have ears, guys. Oh man, it's making my nose itch. All right, I'm gonna take out the, the ones around the edge that I just did. Whew. Man, that's rough stuff. One more, I think I only put in a few. Yeah, okay, oh no. I missed one right up here, apparently. All right. So I got one already pinned together. And I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to pin it. And they're big-ish. They're kind of oversized. But they have to be. Because you know what happens? When you glue around the perimeter and you turn it inside out, it gets smaller. So they have to be big. I know they look really big. But that's how you got to do it. Anyway, I'm going to take the bottom of this bunny out so it will remind me to stop here and here. That's where I'm going to stuff them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the perimeter with my hot glue gun. <laughs> and I am going to pull them, pull them together. Pull them right side to right side. And here we go. Just gonna start here we go. So hot glue around the perimeter of this cute little bunny. So it looks like we got it. We got this much of it done, okay? Now I got to do the ears. I'm going to do the ears, but I'm going to leave a good amount at the bottom. Um, so I can stuff them. Floppy ears. Uh oh. <laughs> that one's stuck to the bunny. And we're going to lay this over here. I did something for the eyes too, and I'm not sure it's going to work, but we're going to give it a whirl. I've got um, I've got the silicone mold. So I use the backs of them when I need to make a little dot of something. So I took the hot glue gun and I just put out two. Well, actually, I did four because I wasn't sure how big I wanted it to be for the eyes of the bunny. I'm going to cover the eyes with. Um, um, Magic marker. I'm gonna do a black, a little black eye. So I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna use one of these two. So I got that going over there. That's I'm gonna have to vacuum my computer too. Pooey. All right. I think it's it's done. It's done. As done as it's gonna get. I'm gonna turn it inside out. Okay. Just like this. Make sure that I get all the little corners poking through. All all the way around, just flip him inside out, and stuff him up. I'm gonna start taking this fiber fill, just shove that up in there. All right, we're gonna just oh. keep, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, tuck it under. I could have sewed this, I probably could have sewed it faster, seriously. 
you know. I thought this would be easier than dragging out the old sewing machine. It looks like a camel. <laughs> it's kind of looking like a camel. It'll look better when I get the ears turned inside out here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen here, bunny. All right. Here's the this bunny ear right side and this bunny ear right side and I'd have to cut a little off of the bottom if it's too long but we'll see we'll see I got one of these sticks here let's see yeah, that's what we're gonna do poke it through make sure that it's all the way inside out the way it's supposed to be I don't all right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this bunny some long ears. You are, this is gonna be cute, y'all. Look at him already. Look at this ear. I love a lop-eared bunny, do you not? They're so sweet. All right, I'm just gonna trim it just a little, just a little bit, because there's a see, um, some binding there I didn't see before. And I want it to be um, roughly the same size as this one. So I'm going to just trim it up a little. Yep. Just like that. I think let me just turn it under a little bit. I want to make sure that it's still long enough to make it look floppy. Yes, it is. I'm going to seam it, seal it, and And the fur just blends in with the fur on the head, so it's not like it's, yeah, it's cute. It's really cute. Gotta make sure that, though, that I leave room for the eye, for that eye. Hold on. Cut just a little bit off there. Just a little bit. I don't want it covering up the eye. glue on here or a lot of glue apparently all right there we go you don't want it coming off and I'm just gonna pat it down here oh my gosh you guys this bunny is cute already now it's looking bunny-ish right okay now this one's got to have to be turned in the same way So here's the deal. We've got these eyeballs. I'm gonna try to figure out which one's gonna look right. I'm gonna pop it off. It just pops off the silicone, right? Just pops off. I don't want it to be too big. I want it to look like, you know, googly eyes. I want it to be, okay, I think these smaller ones are gonna work. I think they're gonna work. So I have a black magic marker. I'm just gonna color it. Okay, a little dab of glue right there. Yeah, that worked, y'all. And I look at the face. Cute, huh? All right, so now what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do like a little, a little nose, just a tiny, like almost like a triangle nose and let that just kind of hang out for a minute just, and let it just harden. Yeah. And then we're gonna take these, this trio of cute little shabby chic bunny flowers. That's what I'm gonna call them. And we're gonna put them together in a cute little trio, like a little crown almost on her head. Right here. <laughs> cute. Mm -hmm. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little nose, I'm gonna color it and put it right at the end of her nose here. Right here. Okay, let's bling this bad boy up. You know what else you could do? I could use one of these for the bunny butt or a trio of them back here, I think I will. I think I'll do that, because they, they can be big <laughs> for the bunny butt. <laughs> oh, I love her! I love it, it's so cute. I'm gonna tie some of this sari silk. I've got a little bit of sari silk, a strip of it and some of this lace also from the Dollar Tree. Tie that around a neck and I'm gonna put some, um, a piece of bling at her neck. I'm gonna put... I want her to be shabby chic like this tie. See how this tie is kind of... Yeah, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the tie in the back and the applique in the front. See? I just think that will be really, really cute. Hold on. We got that going. Now, this one right here from the Antique Bronze Collection, the bow. I think that's so sweet. And I think it would be really cute right on top of this metal flower here. Can you see how sweet? Look at her, her neck. She is ready for Easter. If you all right, and yep, pearl. Okay, because this is a heavier one, I'm going to also add the E6000 to the mix because I don't want to come on. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! You tell me, is she not sweet? I love her. Okay, guys, I think our little bunny girl is awfully cute, and I think she's all ready for Easter, don't you? I think she's sweet. I think her little sari silk is adorable back here, too. I think it makes it very, very vintage looking. She looks like a vintage bunny to me. How about... Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.